buddies, this video is rated D for teen. Hello guys, Bukwaza here, once again, playing Destiny. If you guys don't know what this game is, you should definitely check it out and continue watching this video. And you might see that I'm back in 42, because I'm always named by my brother, not me. Unless it's like some awesome game like Clash Clans, you might see some of that in the future. So, for those of you who don't know this, I'll explain it. For those of you who do know this, skip a couple minutes ahead. You can go, you, so, the opening cinema, humanity goes to Mars. The three guys who goes to Mars, like, this is when they're exploring Mars for the first time. They're walking around and they find the Traveler. And... The Traveler springs them into the Golden Age, and you get all this advanced technology, lifetime triples and stuff, and all that fancy fancy stuff. But then, the Traveler's age-old enemies, the Darkness, comes. Which is a bunch of different types of aliens and evil things that you don't want to mess with. I'm like, here's the line of Darkness. It... Like, of crazy darkness. Like, this is the lines. The last spot where the light from the Traveler can reach. It's like, right about here at the reef. Everywhere else is infested with aliens and stuff. Like, Venus? It, if you went to Venus, you would die. Not because it's... Uh, no, sorry, not Venus. Venus... Oh, sorry, I was talking about. Venus is fine. If you go to Mercury, that's the one. Not because of insane conditions, because Vex type of alien from Venus and Mars, they have infested the place. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And, uh, so, and then Guardians. They were the people who originally protected from the darkness. Then the Dark Ages began, blah, blah, blah. Two centuries later, you were a guardian, you died. But last minute, the Traveler, before it, it like, what, fell asleep in a bad way. But not forever, not forever, of course. Lets out the ghosts. They can revive you, and they're guardian's best buddies. And your guardian finds you on Earth. He revives you. Then you go to the tower, which is the last safe city on Earth, or in the solar system, and blah, blah, blah. Then you go to the moon, then Venus, then the reef. There used to not be much in the reef, but DLCs have changed that. Then you go to Mars. On Mars, this is the last level, the Black Garden. Right now, the Vex are the worst aliens fighting. So you go into the Black Garden, blow up where they're created. So you don't have to fight them anymore. And that's a bonus. And then strikes and crucible. Crucible's PvP strikes run you and two other people do like a long story mission. They can usually take 20 to 25 minutes. Depending on how fast you guys do it. That's kind of like your hot bar of stuff like the daily crucible, the daily level, the weekly heroic strike. And then there's the Weekly Nightfall Strike. So, really, we're not going to do too much today. We're just going to go explore Earth. And, I am playing on PlayStation. So, that's why you might see like X and Square. And Triangle and Circle, not X, Y, A, and B. That's Xbox. Or keys on a computer because this game is on computer so this is your player menu you got your subclass um i'm a titan i'm the defender subclass you can also have strikers titan and then you got your primary weapons secondary weapons and your heavy weapons i use my pulse rifle and then your armor then your mark well, let's see not all marks are the same. Then you got your sparrow, which is like a 
Star Wars speeder up. They ain't got your ghost. They ain't got your ship. Then you got your shader, like you can change it. And then you got your emblem. But anyways, welcome back to those guys who had skipped ahead and found this spot. Good job. Unless you spent five hours doing that. Hope not. So yeah, like, this is all this game is. And, well, not all. Like, you can run around shooting aliens or other people. But, like, here, I can't damage him. He's got a sniper. He's invisible right now because some guys can do that. But this game is very popular. Like, what this dude is, he's farming. You go down here, and they spawn up there. And you can kill a lot of people. Really quickly. Ooh, this is awesome. It's, um, uh... Uh... What is it? Public event. That's it. So, uh, if you're just, like, running around on the planet, you can, uh, do these. And you get pretty good... You can get good stuff. I've seen people get good weapons from it. Before... But not like weapons as good as the one I'm holding right now. The sparrow I'm hold I'm using right now is a really good sparrow. It's a it's a rare sparrow. There's um common. It's the worst. There's Uncommon, that's second worst. Rare, that's the sec uh, second best currently. Then there's legendary, that's the best. Currently, of course. I would expect Bungie, the makers of this game, will be adding a, um, an ex exotic sparrows one time. Sometime, maybe, not sure on that, but I would assume so, because there's, that's the same thing for everything else, except for ghosts and chairs and chips, like, everything down here, there's no exotics that go down here. Up here, there is exotics, like, it goes white, which is common, then green, which is uncommon, then uh, blue, which is rare, and then purple, which is legendary, and then yellow, which is exotic. Exotic, of course, the best. So, basically explain the game. Check. Show you what you do in the game. Pretty much check. And, well, you basically, as a guardian, go around killing stuff and doing stuff and trying to help the city survive extinction. And in the end of the game, you do that. And at the same time, you're trying to upgrade your armor and your stuff. This, and then there's your inventory. It's your materials, your missions, your bounties. And consumables. Consumables not meaning e double. It means like usable to gain an ability that we you would otherwise not have. So there's different types of primary. This is a pulse rifle. This is a hand cannon. Fusion rifles are normally secondary weapons, but this is a special one. There's hand cannons. My hand cannons are definitely my favorite out of every type of gun in the game. It's just more of my style. This is one of the best PvP hand cannons in the game because it's fully automatic and it does 
tons of damage. Like, I will show you. I wasn't. That's not semi automatic. That's holding a trigger down. I didn't know this till the other day. Here, I'll show you. It says. This weapon can be fired quickly and continuously. That means go bang, 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 bang. Like, you know, I'll show you. But you kind of have to do the aiming. Sadly. Yeah. If you're bored of this video, go ahead and exit out. I'm just gonna be doing some more shooting with different guns. So if you're like, oh, this game's awesome, continue on. Because personally, I think this game is worth watching. Even if it is just doing this. Troll! Oh, wow, I caught it. I got trolled. So, next gun, Hawk Moon. It's another hand cannon, but just does more damage per shot. And, as you just saw, it's a lot more accurate. Except for, I'm lagging. Don't you just love lag? So anyways, I'm just going to end it here because it just kicked me off the server.